Hello, glad to meet you again. Today we will look at the data synchronization workflow in TBC with the help of Trimble Sync Manager. Most TBC users are Trimble Access users as well because TBC and Access walk hand in hand to provide a true field to finish workflow. For these users, hopefully you included, we're always looking for a more seamless solution to simplify the data transfer procedure. The answer is Trimble Sync Manager. Sync Manager is a geospatial utility that exchanges data between TBC and TA using the Trimble Connect Cloud. Users can prepare data in TBC, send the selection to Sync Manager, then Sync Manager will create a job accordingly, assign this job to the field crew, and sync this package to Access. In the field, Access users would download the project and finish the field work. With one button click, the work will be sent back to Sync Manager, and once it's reviewed, the new data will be back in TBC for further processing and delivering. Let's take a closer look. In this TBC project, some design work has been done around the Trimble Westminster building, including a finished design terrain model. It would be great to pass the design to access in order to guide the field work. In the past, we had to export all these objects separately, including the coordinate system files, the feature code library. Not anymore. Let's go to the Home tab, Send to Sync. Select everything from the plan view. Or you may use the Options button to select specific items you want to take into Trimble Access. This command groups points, lines, and surfaces and handles them separately. For individual points, they may stay embedded in a job file or be stored in DXF or CSV format. Line work will be stored in the DXF and surfaces in TTM. Next, we can give the current selection a name. And add selection. Note that you can have multiple selection sets set prepared for one job. With the selection highlighted, click Send. Sync Manager launches, and it detects the new selection from TBC. Click Apply. I don't want to put this job under any existing projects, so I will click New to create one. Depending on your location, you may want to recite the project on a different server. Click Create. When the creation is complete, Sync Manager will enter this project automatically. This process can take a minute or so. Let's create a job in this project. Give it a name. Then optionally put in job reference number and description. You can assign this job to multiple field workers. Type in their names if they are already Trimble Connect users. But if they don't have an account yet, put in their emails then they will receive an invitation to join this project. The job file section contains files that are intended for just this job. The line work DXF and the surface TTM are listed here. On the other hand, although we didn't select the feature code library intentionally, Sync Manager has linked the FXL in the project file section. 
indicating it can be used by other jobs in this project. If you are a loyal Trimble Access user, the following configurations must look very familiar to you because Sync Manager is designed to be consistent with Access UI so to reduce data entry error. In this particular dataset, we're using a calibrated site. And as expected, it is well carried over by Sync Manager. The only thing missing is the project height, so type in a proper number. If for any reason you need to define a coordinate system, click Define. Then you can search for the proper projection in the library, or you may type in the parameters manually. Change other job properties as needed. Just like the Access Point Manager, all the job points are listed at the bottom for a review. Ready to go? Click Create. Sync Manager will pack all the data and send it to Trimble Access. There it is. Now launch Trimble Access. To see all the projects coming from the Sync Manager, you will need to sign in with the correct Trimble Connect account. Pick the Trimble Building project. and download. Download all the linked files too. Now the complete site design is available in the map. For the existing job points, you may review the details or start stakeout. Then it's time to connect to some instrument and collect new data. I have keyed in a few points for this demo in the south parking lot area, and I'm ready to send the data back. Instead of exporting these points, I will go to the job screen, change the job status to field work complete. This will trigger an automatic data upload to the Trimble Connect Cloud. Back in the office, refresh the Sync Manager. The job status will be updated as well, and you may review what has been changed in this job. There are two options from here. If you simply want to download the job and handle it later, select Download. You'll get the job file and its associated folder. But if you have TBC running, you can also import the data directly to TBC. The process view is waiting for the import. You may see this coordinate system difference window, and it's because of the project height. The second reminder is about importing the feature code library. Choose 
yes to continue. Now these keyed in points are ready to be further processed. This concludes a basic data synchronization workflow using Trimble Sync Manager. To see what else Sync Manager can do, for example, to set up a project template, to update the assignment, and to rework on a job, please watch the TBC Power Hour recording through the TBC Support tab. Thank you for watching. See you until next time.